ABA's latest album has left fans fuming. The Super Swedes, who shot to global fame after being crowned the winners of the Eurovision Song Contest back in 1974, have released over 90 songs since their first record back in 1972. Across the globe, their records have been bought over 150 million times, making them one of the biggest selling artists in the history of music. Although their fans remain fiercely dedicated to supporting their work and traveling across Europe for their various ventures, some couldn't help but feel angered following the news of their latest album. The group consisting of Agnetha Faltskog, Bjorn Olveus, Benny Anderson, and Annie Frid Lingstad have announced the singles, The First 50 Years, documenting their legacy including some of their biggest tracks. The new album, filled with 38 tracks, will be released on four vinyls. But if you're hoping to get your hands on the album and give it a spin on your vinyl player, it will set you back an eye-watering 98 pounds. Fans have expressed their views on the record, with some being left disappointed by the artwork, as well as the decision not to include some tracks. However, many shared their frustration over the hefty price tag. One fan penned, another greatest hits, seriously. Nothing new here, just a money grab, sadly, as only OG fans will pay £95 for a four LP set of songs they already have. Meanwhile, another fumed. What absolute rip-off £96 for tracks we've already got. And on 140 germ vinyl, not the usual 180 germ, fumed another. Meanwhile, a third disgruntled fan typed, £95. Holy crap, you're going to make me poor. A fourth added, ABBA is everything for me, but other than Voyage, every single new release since the deluxes are ridiculous. Who cares about a copy of the first 10 years with one extra LP with the Voyage singles called The First 50 Years? Ha! Good one. EUR 110.00 for a double meaning title and not a single new song, knowing that ABBA has many. No, thanks. The release from ABA is an expansion of the singles, The First Ten Years, which they originally released in 1982. The record will feature tracks such as Dancing Queen and Mamma Mia. It will also include tracks from their final album, Voyage, which the quartet released in 2021, including songs that are not available on other compilation albums. Fans who will be splashing out on the collection will also receive a book featuring a 24-page illustrated booklet with liner notes and previously unseen images of the legendary band.